Alright, what's up guys? I'm Justin, and this video is actually going to be different than what I usually do. This is actually a tutorial a tutorial on how I make my mashups um, on Just Dance. And this is for people who um, are using Adobe Premiere Pro. And most mashup makers that I see often use Vegas. So... For those who don't have Vegas and actually have this, well, you came to the right place. I'm going to show my step-by-step um, -step, um, process on how I make this. And step one is I usually add in this, this gray solid color um, as the base for the mashup. And a oh, program not responding. Alright, basically add that in. Now, I'm actually going to add in some tracks because I don't think three is going to be enough. So let's add in a th let's do more. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to slide this up because I'm going to be doing a copy and paste um, and it goes over here. Alright, so I'm going to grab this extracted file. Um, that I got in my videos folder. I'm just gonna drag this. Now you can tell that this does not fit. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of this audio file. I'm gonna disable uniform scale, and it'll let me customize the scale width and height without it um, being the same. So what I usually do is for an extraction like this. I usually set the width to 150 and 150. Now for the position, I'm going to leave this as it is because I want it to be centered. And for this, I'm actually going to change it to 810 to get to have just the alpha. Now once I have that done, I'm actually going to copy the layer, and now I'm going to paste it. But now, is the masking part. Now you expect that I would um, double the um, scale height, but instead I am actually going to change it to 200 on height and 100 on width. Because if you change the height to 300, it would not look pretty great. Now, I'm going to show you what it would look like if I were to do that. Alright, now that's like that. Now, how to do this? I usually go to keying, which is over here, and I go to track mat key. Now when you go to mat and you and you click on the video above and you in composite using you go to Luma and that's what it looked like if you double the um, mask height. So I usually just set it to 200 and 100. And for the position I do a negative 360. Now, if you want to remove the reflection right here, you can actually go to Luma Key and notice how this got more transparent. Now, I know the now I know the dancer's glow seemed to have gotten transparent as well. I usually do not worry about that. What I do is I leave the threshold to 100 and the cutoff. I have to increase it until the reflection is gone. So now, let's see what it looks like. I'm just going to drag this upwards and then just discard it. I mean, not discard it, um, disable the viewing, and we're just going to drag in the mashup background. Alright, there we go. Now I'm just gonna disable 
I'm just going to disable the audio thing again. And this is. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to set this to full. I don't know why I have to have. You know, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to nest these two together so they become one. I'm just going to set it to Dancer. And I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm just going to restart it. Alright, you know, I just set it to half. And that's what you're left with. Now for the Luma key, you do not have to do it when I do want, when, I, when I make a background that um, requires a shadow. Uh, when I um, have a dance, I have a shadow. I usually just use the Luma key. And I hope this tutorial is useful for the people who want to be better um, at who want to be better at um, masking stuff for mashups and you know, I'll leave um, some I'll leave the link to these backgrounds in the description all four colors so you can sync them with um, your clips or so you can sync them sync them with each answer and that's gonna be it for this tutorial thank you for watching um, subscribe and see you all next time peace out